Oh, I'm gonna try and not flash you. But if I do, I apologize. Or you're welcome. <laughs> Whichever way you wanna look at it, honestly. Numero. This. So this is a Lexus commercial. You might wonder why a car company is using a hoverboard in one of its ads. Is Lexus planning to make hoverboards now? No shot. It's just another marketing stunt. But the hoverboard you see is very real. It's actually levitating and you can totally sick. ride it. But is it the transportation of the future? Probably not. Oh, the last clip made it look lame. But I was all for it in the first clip. That looks fun. I just want to go on it. The little steam shooting out of the side, that's a little interesting. That's a little interesting. Can you imagine like going to a skate park and just like floating? I'm levitating. The Milky Way. I don't know where they're going here. Yeah. You gonna turn it into a, a rock? Really shiny stone? So, oh what? So this is how far I will I will take it. If you know what I can do with this ball. Put it on display! That's beautiful! It's kind of pointless though, if you ask me, like literally, what are you gonna do with that ball? Like he was even asking us, like, what should I do with it? I made this, I spent hours on it. Now what, somebody wanna buy it? What, I'll buy it. Just kidding. It's kind of fun that I've wanted to do for quite a while and experiment with, and that is shooting footage of ultraviolet inks underwater under an eh? ultraviolet Bro, you gotta light. explain it to me in like layman's terms. Oh, now I get it, now I get it. That's beautiful. It looks like a heart. Like not a heart, but like a heart, like in your chest. That's beautiful, I love that. It also looks like one of those wallpapers from back in the day when your computer you know, your computer screen when you're... Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Peach. I'm your host Peach and today we are looking at the top 10 crazy experiments that actually worked, okay? Bill Nye the Science Guy is shook. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Nye the Science Guy. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like Bill Nye the Science Guy. No, I'm not okay with this. You wasted, yeah, don't try this at all. He wasted a whole thing of Fruit Loops. Ew, and then he's mixing around the poo bowl. Are you gonna put milk? Did you fill the tank with milk? Ugh. <laughs> How is that an experiment? What is the outcome? For an experiment, you need an outcome. What was the outcome? That Fruit Loops can flush? What was your hypothesis before doing this? You didn't think they would flush? You think it would clog the toilet? Dude, it's cereal. It's gonna get moist. Of course it's gonna flush. I'm mad. I'm mad. I like Fruit Loops and you just ruined it for me. Boom. And place this Boom. light bulb into liquid nitrogen. Ooh. And then I'm gonna plug in the wire and let's see what happens. Whoa! Isn't it amazing? It's turned on, but it's not blowing up. How crazy is that? That is broken light crazy. bulb in a liquid nitrogen, and it's not burning out. That's pretty crazy. Not gonna lie, that's pretty crazy. I don't know how that works. Ask Bill Nye to explain it. Science is weird. Science rules. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one. The ash conformity test was conducted in the early 1950s and it showed the human tendency to stick with a mob even though it is clearly wrong. In this experiment, one person Bro, I learned about this subject, in psychology. was placed in a room full of actors. The conductor of the experiment held up a piece of paper with three lines on it and asked for the crowd to identify the longest lines. 37 out of a sample size of 50 chose the incorrect answer even though it was very easy to identify the correct option. This test proved how much people are willing to conform to others' ideas. Yeah. It's insane. Uh, I I love learning about this kind of stuff. There was a bunch of actors in that room and then a bunch of like just normies. They were basically saying, oh, the longest line is this one when clearly it wasn't. And everyone was like, oh shoot, maybe I should say the exact same thing. So I don't look stupid. The mind is weird. Humans are weird. I'm weird. Al is weird. Okay. okay, and sanitizer, put it on a plank of wood and 
Obviously it's flam... What? Oh, that's sick. Oh, that is so... Don't try this at home, folks. Don't, you're gonna burn your hand off. They needed a disclaimer on this one. But I really wanna try it, because that looks sick. <sighs> don't do it, though. Don't do it, though. Because I really wanna do it. So it's, it's on fire, but I don't know why it's not burning his hand. I don't know. To see again, this is something that I can't explain. <laughs> oh, you got your own little mini bonfire. Get some marshmallows. Wait, what? 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 Oh. Hmm. That just looks satisfying. Looks like a dragon. Whoa! Whoa! It's like a dragon! What is that? I wanted to see more of it. What was it creating? What were the ingredients? Sand, baking soda, sugar, lighter fluid. What do you do when that's done? Like, is it hard or if you touch it, is it just gonna like crumble? Oh, are they gonna, are they gonna break it? Oh. Oh, that is sick. Ow, I should probably not be listening to that. <laughs> right up in my ear. That was pretty cool. Ow, I'm just gonna mute that real quick because I don't want hearing loss. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm supposed to be hearing that loud. That's cool. Oh, it did shatter! Yes, that's pretty cool. I've always wanted to like get a glass and sing and you know, like, broken against the wall. <laughs> is this paint? Is, oh, it's foam! Oh my god, can they go uh -oh. in it? It's oh. coming up! The great tsunami! Hey, hold this. It's like lava. Okay, stand back off the tarp. Is it shaving cream? Oh, we need to grab them, stand back. Hold this up, Bob. Wow, that's satisfying. I would want to go swimming in that pool. That'd be so much fun, like diving down, then coming back up. Man, I need to make like cool friends like this. Mark Rober, I need to become his friend, whoever he is. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, I've been your host, Peach. Stick around for some bloopers, and I'll see you when I see ya. Stay peachy. Well, would you look at that? All right, all right, all right. So when we'll see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bill, 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 Bill Nye, the science guy. Under trois cas cinq six sept huit neuf dix. Yeah. The levitating. Mm. Nah, 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 nah. We're running again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Want you? Mm -mm. Anyway, sorry. <laughs>